Hey guys, so, okay, this video is mainly, I'm just in Minecraft, in a world I've been working on for a while, in survival. This video is just mainly to talk about some announcements, because I haven't posted in a while, and I'm also wanting to thank you guys for all the subscribers, so, yeah. So, uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna be playing Minecraft, chilling out, while I'm talking about this stuff. So, okay. For people that are new to my channel, and I mean a lot of people don't know this yet, I did come out bisexual not that long ago, and yeah, like a couple weeks ago, before I started school, I did come out bisexual, and I mean not everybody in my school knows it, and not everybody knows it, like, in general, um, but I did. And now, I was thinking, I was watching some videos today on YouTube, and, um, like, okay, I'm sorry, I'm having a struggle putting words together right now. Like a real struggle. <laughs> but oopsies. Um Yeah, so like yes, I'm a bisexual woman. I am. But to be honest, I am a lot more attracted to women than I am attracted to males. Which eh, I mean, my friends know that. I have really three yeah, three really close friends that I've been friends with for a couple of years and they've accepted me and I'm pretty happy with it. Um and yeah, like and from what I know, no one really in my school has come out bisexual or anything. Like I know there's a couple homophobes in my school. So the fact that they don't know anything yet, it kinda makes me happy right now. <laughs> But, yeah, I didn't really think of what I was going to talk in this video. Sorry, I, was, I just, I wanted to rant, and that's what happened. So, I'm ranting. But, um, yeah, no, I, uh, oh yeah, when I came out bisexual, I was actually terrified. And I know people out there that, I don't, like, specifically know people personally, but I know there's people out there that have a lot of struggle coming out to their parents. And, like, I get the feeling. And if anybody out there on my channel actually needs to talk, just come DM me on my Instagram, which will hopefully show up on screen now. Um, and or go check out my TikTok also. You, I think you can text me there too. I don't know. Sometimes I don't know how TikTok works. <laughs> um, yeah. So, or you can comment below and we can start conversation in the comments. Um... I mean, so I just kind of wanted to rant about stuff because I was watching, it was a trans short film and I thought it was actually really interesting what they were talking about in it, like of how like people not accepting them and things like that and I, I thought it was like really upsetting because I'm like, does, does, does everybody just like, mm? <laughs> and like, yeah, no, I was just looking at comments on my, um, Graphic Falls video, and I'm not easily hurt by hate comments. Like, I don't really get hurt. It's just the way I was raised that I don't really care what other people think of me. So, me coming out by wasn't, it was terrifying because I knew I would, like, I, I knew they were going to accept me. It's just, I just was slightly terrified because, like, yeah, no, I was so terrified. Um, but not a lot of people in my school know yet, and I'm, like, I was going to post something on my private TikTok that. I will not give you guys because it's private. <laughs> um, but yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, I was, when I came out to my parents, it was, no, bleh. <laughs> let's just say terrifying. I was so fucking scared. We were on a family trip and I was like, okay, I'm going to do it because I was going to go tell my crush I like them. And I was like, I got to do it. I got to tell my parents I'm bi before I go tell my crush I have a crush on her. And it was a girl too. Um, I kind of still have a crush on her right now, but it's, um, um, I don't really, anyways. Um, after I did come out by, I didn't get any hate because I was only my friends that really knew, and I'm not really trying to hide it, but, um, 
like if somebody finds out somebody finds out i mean i don't really care um it's in my opinion it's okay for people to find out um but uh, i'm like really trying to put words together right now and i'm super badly struggling <laughs> So sorry if I kind of just lengthened this video more than I wanted it to, but yeah, it's like, alright, first we're just gonna get with the YouTube announcements over with, and then I'll go back to my ranting. So, um, I wanted to thank you guys all. I think we're at 200 now, 200 subscribers. I wanted to thank you guys so much for that, um, because I like didn't do a hundred special, and I haven't done 200 because I haven't really been paying attention because of school and my dance stuff. I've been kind of busy and chaotic during the weeks and like uh yeah and like when you guys comment on my videos i try to comment back on all of them and i try to like have a conversation with you guys <coughs> excuse me jesus um but yeah like i try to talk to you guys like in the comments and stuff like that so you guys do have comments and want their conversation with me like go ahead like we can chat all night like i don't care um, it's the weekend now so i'm just like but probably when this is posted this is probably gonna be posted during the week so yeah yes might be posted later <laughs> um but anyways uh the other announcement i wanted to say is okay i am going to make a part two to williams fast i just haven't got the brain power to do it <laughs> right now I am remaking Gravity, uh, Back to the Falls, but it's called Back to the Gravity Falls this time. I think Back to Gravity Falls, that's what the new title is, um, uh, of it. So I'm, like, super excited because it's actually really good this time and more planned out. And I'm also doing it in Gacha Club, so it's gonna look, like, ten times better anyways with the quality. Like, I'm, it's so much better. And the character designs are a little different, too, and, like, the personalities of the characters... I tried to base them off the actual thing because, like, recently I just watched the ending of Gravity Falls. Just so, like, I'm like, okay, well, if I'm remaking it, I gotta rewatch the Gravity Falls ending. I'm just, I'm just gonna kind of move around. Um, but yeah, so that happened, and so that will be coming out uh, hopefully in a couple weeks. Let's just hope in a couple weeks. I just, it's me. I don't know how long it's gonna actually take. <laughs> But let's just open a couple weeks. Um, so, yeah. Um, then, yeah, so I think that's, like, all the announcements for my channel right now. I want to say, I don't know when the next survival episode is actually going to come out. But we'll see when it comes out. I don't know yet. Ooh, there's a hole there. Okay. Um, but, yeah, like, I don't know when we're going to have another survival episode. Me and my sister are in a rough spot right now. So it's like, yeah, yay. Okay, but um, yeah. Uh, so what was I saying? Oh, right, right, right. Um, so I was watching. I, was also, I watched a dress code video too. And I was thinking, my school doesn't really have a bad dress code, and I was like, oh, well. This is weird because a lot of people like collarbones are distracting for guys and like shoulders and like I wore tank top to show both and my bra straps are showing and my bra showed at one point too like and no one really cared I mean we had like I I wore a sweater part of the day but still I was wearing a tank top that showed a lot and it I didn't get dress coded the principal walked in I barely had my sweater on and like he didn't care so I mean I don't have. Like, my school doesn't care as much. We're, it's a small town, too. I'm not gonna tell you where I live, but, like, I go to school in a small town. Um, but, yeah, so, like, small town, not a lot of people, I mean, I don't really think the teachers care that much. Most of the teachers are from, like, Old and Renter, too, so, it's like, yeah, that's, like, a small town. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so, and I was thinking, like, okay. Yeah, it was mainly, like, I was thinking, oh, well, well like, if people say you know, me because I was bisexual, I wouldn't give a shit and just flip them off. Like, I don't, like, what's your point <laughs> in picking on me? Like, I don't get affected. And it's probably because I never had bullying in my, like, as I grew up, like, I always felt different, but I wasn't picked on for it. So I just never really thought like, I knew people were picked on, but you can't really tell in my school because there's so little people and you know everybody. 
so it's hard to know when people get picked on or not. And, um, yeah, so I didn't know people got picked on. I think there was a couple of people that did get picked on, but I never knew them. Um, but yeah, so I never had that. And so when I get like hate comments, like I was going through comments again, like on, I get, when I get comments on, um, on the Back to the Falls video because I changed the story and all people like that. So I did get hate comments. I got hate comments because of people, I did LGBTQ. Um, I got hate comments because like it was just a whole bunch of stuff. Um, and they weren't really bad hate comments. They didn't really affect me that much, but I just felt it came to my attention that there are hate comments that people get. And I mean, just keep your opinions to yourself. Like, what is the point of telling people that you hate their or they hate their content? Because like they're not they can't do change that. I mean they might, but that would just end up making people quit and make being people not want to do their channel anymore and things like that. Like I really want to do continue with this channel and I don't like I yeah, I enjoy making content for you guys. And like there's so many of you guys on here now and I'm so happy about that. But like I think back and I'm like I was like really sucky at making stuff at the beginning of this and I actually got really good. I'm actually deciding to take film studies in a couple days, maybe next year, and that would, that would be really fun. Um, but yeah, like, yeah, I didn't, I hate comments, like, they don't affect me, because I'm like a confident, independent woman, <laughs> like, I am, I have a lot of confidence in myself, and I kind of do dress like a slut sometimes in like real life. <laughs> and, People gotta accept that I'm different and I'm weird and I'm unique, I think. But I like I don't get hated on it. So if you guys really need to talk actually, I'm gonna end the video here soon. Um so I'm just gonna wait one second. So if you guys really do need to talk, please DM me, start a conversation in the comments below, let's talk. Like if you guys need to talk, I am always open. Like even if you guys send me a text in the middle of the class, I will make sure to answer it at lunch. I try to, when during the day, if I get comments on my YouTube videos and stuff, I try to answer them at lunch. But, like, dudes, talk to me. I'm free. I'm open to talk to people. I have to deal with my friend's boy issues. So it's... <laughs> I'm open. <laughs> like, two... Actually, let me think. Yeah, two of my friends have boyfriends. And, I mean, one relationship is kind of like a friend for more friend relationship, and the other one's actually really good. And then I have a really messed up friend that needs to get out of vaping and, like, alcohol and stuff. So I just, I am dealing with her slowly. But, yeah, so if you guys just need to talk, DM me, my Instagram, and my TikTok are always open. Um, come hang out with me on Roblox, like, if I'm online, I'll come talk to you guys, like, come friend me, I gotta go look at Roblox and see how many people friended me, <laughs> so yeah, like, let's just talk, okay? So, I'm just gonna say bye guys, and I will see you in my next video, which will hopefully be Gravity Falls!